Hello and welcome to the Honda Big Ruckus channel. Today we will be working on my 2006 Honda Big Ruckus. Um, I think really the only item I'm going to work on for this episode will be the uh, fuel filter. Uh, I recently purchased uh, this Honda Big Ruckus probably a couple months ago, slowly going through, you know, checking oil, checking transmission fluid, so on and so forth. Um, you know, I do have a video coming up for brakes because, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it does not have a rear brake currently. And that's okay. We'll fix it. So really what we're going to focus on today is the fuel filter. Uh, in order to get to the fuel filter, you need to take this panel off here. Uh, it's a lot easier to take that panel off when you take off this step. Uh, we'll be installing a new fuel filter uh, for people that always want to know part numbers. The part number on this is the 16900-371-004. Uh, I will say for this you will want to use a Honda manufactured one if you try and do like a third party that you purchase at a parts store. The flow is not going to be right. You'll end up having more hiccups and more headaches than it's worth. Uh, so with that, Let's go ahead and get started on removing this panel here. Super simple to do. Um, usually you take out this bolt, but it doesn't have it, which is okay because I have a replacement ready for it. You have bolt down there and a bolt here. One thing that is different about this motorcycle, um, this actually had some custom part added to the scoop. Uh, it seems like they thought it would be a good idea for maybe cooling. However, with the big ruckus, it's actually already liquid cooled. So you can't really make it much colder than it already is. That's part of what I think really makes these engines last as long as they do. So yeah, we'll go ahead and work through getting, getting stuff taken apart. We'll start here. Uh, these, so these bolts are 14 mil, pretty simple. Always make sure that you keep the washer, don't want to lose that, it's always good to have. Alright, easy peasy. Next. That looks like 8 mil. I'm totally cheating because I already looked to make sure I had what I needed to do this. I got another one up here. Alright, with those bolts off, you just need to come up here. Usually this is a uh, push-in, um, so you push it in, pull the tab out. Um, whoever owned this previously, A, they painted this black. Uh, personally, I hate it, but hey, to each their own. Uh, and then he put in this screw type, um, which those you actually use with inside the uh, battery tray. Uh, the battery tray cover uh, uses those kind of screws, but we'll go ahead and those pull. Need this, I'll use this. So let's get like so. Easy enough. I'm gonna go a little slow. Don't want to strip it or anything. That's about all you need to do. Makes it real easy, comes right out. Cool, and then this pulls out like so. It has a clip, goes into this rubber grommet. Um, same with this setup, has a clip with the rubber grommet as well. And there, you got this, this is the last screw holding on everything. And then, I'll uh, just pull, and we're going to go like so, and pull out. There we go. 
little panel off. Super simple. Uh, always good to just take a quick inspection, see if there's anything crazy going on. Everything looks pretty good here. Um, what we're after is the fuel filter right there. Just looking at the fuel filter, I can tell A, it's about halfway full, which makes sense. B, um, I would guess that that's stock uh, being 2006 and it being 2022. You can kind of do the math on how old that is. And this is exactly why um, I went ahead and ordered one. You can get them for $25, not the cheapest. Um, again, this is the part number of what we're gonna replace. Um, and I'll show you how to do this real quick here. I'm just gonna go grab a tray because I guarantee you I'm gonna spill some gas. All right. <clears throat> Got a tray. So the easiest way, um, it has a rubber grommet here. Pull that, now it's loose. Um, and then you're gonna wanna mess around with this and I'll do that to pull it out so you have easier access, like so. There, now you got it out. You can see how old it looks. That's fine. I'll go ahead and get this replaced. It's got two little clips here. Um, squeeze those together. Uh, if I can get up close, you squeeze those together, which makes it so you can move it back. Um, or you can always just do the old pull. But we're just gonna kind of loosen everything here and then work on guiding this guy back, which probably hasn't been done in, since it was manufactured. So, do that. So, a couple spin jobs. And then I'm gonna spin this around, which makes it much easier to kind of get maneuverability I get it so you have a close look here. But take it with one hand, with the other, and just pull, and she'll come. There it goes, as you can see. And aim it down, because that's going to spill some gas. Cool, easy enough. Same on the other side. We're going to get these loosened up. So much easier like that. Again, it hasn't moved a while, so we're gonna pull And there you go, it's out. Now, the filter itself, it's junk, you can throw it away. What you wanna keep is this grommet because that's what's gonna help keep the new filter in place. So you just pull it off. That's your grommet. You take the new filter like so and just put it on. You can also see um, this arrow is indicating which way fuel runs, which means you want it to go this way. So I'll go ahead and get this back on here. So it looks good, that looks good. Put the uh, Item back on, like so. 
You want to get the little clip back. So I'm going to try these guys. Let's see if it's a little bit easier. Back to where it once was. Same thing on this side. Plug it in. Move this clip back and over. Cool. Now we're going to push it back through like so. Turn. Get this gasket lined up and done. You can test it. Turn it on the bike. That's your clicking noise is your fuel and everything moving. We'll go ahead and start her up. Make sure we can get her to start. Now, oh, she's cold. There we go. Yeah. Everything sounds good, so then we just do the same steps in reverse to get everything back on. So I'm going to pause it here, and I'll catch you at the end. All right, so all back together. As you can see, I did add that bolt, and one thing to keep in mind, so like the bolt down here, this guy, should also be one of these. This one has to be different because of this whatever scoop decision that was made um, prior to me uh, that was added on. It does need a longer uh, bolt to be able to fit there. Um, but with that, now I know that the um, fuel filter is probably doing its job accurately, um, keeping gunk um, and varnish and all that kind of stuff out of the carburetor. Uh, just always a good item to do. Obviously, it ran um, fine without, but, you know, for how long are you going to end up gunking up? And I don't know if you've ever taken out a carburetor on one of these. Not a fun job. You're talking, boy, uh, six hours, three to six hours, depending on what needs to be done to rebuild, take out, so on and so forth, put back together. So, yeah, happy to have that done. Um, you know, this was one of many videos I'll make. This is a relatively short, quick video, but there'll be more to come. We'll have lots of fun. Um, probably do brakes next, just waiting on some parts. Um, thinking it's probably more than likely. Um, so within here on the brakes, there's a master cylinder. Um, that master cylinder, my guess is probably no good anymore, but yeah. So yeah, that's replacing a fuel filter on a 2006 Honda Big Ruckus. I should mention on a 2005, exact same. In fact, anything that I do on this bike is the exact same steps as this bike. There is no difference other than color. But we'll get more into that when we talk about the history of the Big Ruckus. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, please like, share, subscribe, uh, do whatever you want to do. But yeah, have fun, take care, and I will talk to you next time.